Legend of Total War here with part 3 of my uh, Europa Universalis Rome Let's Play campaign as Rome. Alright, so previously we took a bit of territory away from Macedon, uh, we defeated Illyria and Dacia, and now we're mostly dealing with barbarian scum, whilst also managing uh, loyalty issues, which is going to be a constant theme in this campaign, I imagine. So we've got these barbarians out here, um, but we've already beaten them multiple times, so, well, I think at least once. So just let them come at us, we'll easily beat them. Once you've beaten a barbarian horde once, unless they go and pick up some more troops, they, you're usually going to be fine. Could actually declare war on Macedon, but I don't know. Just thinking about how best to go about it. Okay, just whatever when it comes to the omens. Just um, I go for the trade income because I don't rely that much on trade income, and it's most likely going to fail. Oh shit! <coughs> Excuse me. Fuck. All right. Came out of fucking enough. Well, it succeeded, but unfortunately, I can't guess when it's going to succeed. There are two out of three times that it's going to fail. If I was going to go for something and know it was going to be successful, I'd go for Cupid because I need population. The strength of our empire is always going to rely on the, of our Roman population because, as I've said before, manpower. Manpower is the key to this because gold is not really an issue. Okay, so this guy over here, Gaius Fabius Lacinus, he's disloyal, 42. Okay, we've got a guy here that's also at 9, but he's got way higher loyalty. So I say we go for him. Loyalty, it's just really difficult to manage now. Okay, we've got an enemy over here, um, 29 units. Well, I've got 20 units. Let's time it so that we he arrives roughly around the same time, maybe even like a day or two after. So 12th of January, you get there 17th of January. Okay. Maybe just even a little bit later than that. Because I'd like to be able to turn, turn him around if things are going well. Because you never know. Sometimes they come up with, it's just full of militia, sometimes there's other things. Alright, so, um, yeah, they're just going to keep doing that. Also, is this the best commander we can get for him? This guy here has Marshal of Six. This guy's Marshal Seven. I might actually move him over there if that's possible. We'll see if that works. Because it is a large army. It's basically teleported there. Okay, so we're looking at the stats. Jeez, their commander is actually better. Fuck me. So that means he's at he's got a martial skill of eight, but we scored a better dice roll. Of course, we always end up with some morale loss because of the difficulty. We've got lots of militia. We've got some cavalry. So th m m cavalry are particularly good versus archers, militia, and other horse archers. They're not very good versus in heavy infantry and war elephants. Militia aren't good against anything. And heavy infantry are good against militia, uh, militia and cavalry. Not good against archers. So that means archers. Good against other. Okay. Right. 
Oh, very nice. Okay, that's that's a nice dice roll there, but I don't know. When are you going to arrive? 22nd of January. You've got two days. Do we pull back or let him in? Because the thing is, if he comes over here, we're guaranteed to win the battle, right? But we'll take loads of attrition. Now, this dice roll here is only going to last a short time. I'm actually going to have him stay back. Even if we end up losing this, their morale is going to be too low to take Liguria. It seems like we did just enough damage. Oh, hang on. We just scored a zero there. Yeah, we're going to lose the battle. However, we did so much damage to them that they're not able to assault this. And if you come over here, you should win. It fucking sucked. Bloody it, re roll reversal. Uh, uh, sorry, dice reversal. They got. I just rolled a zero. They got a seven. I liked it the other way around, but oh well. So, in the first legion here, this guy here is being disloyal. So his loyalty- oh fuck, it's a zero. Oh god damn it. How am I gonna get him out of this? Oh, he's, he's fucking populist. I shouldn't have put a populist general in charge. Oh, dumbass. Definitely want to keep populace out of the fucking army. Great, another bloody zero. Fucking hell. Looks like the other army's gonna to have to come back here straight away. Okay, here's an opportunity, right? I want you to fight them, I'll give you a triumph, and then you're fired. So we lost that battle, lost another... Fucking hell. Just bad dice rolls. We'll just grind them down. Unfortunately, this is causing absolute wreckage on my, um... On my manpower, and that's of course my most valuable resource. But what can I do? I can't throw anything else at them, can't bribe them. I have to... Just have to hope for good dice rolls. Okay, so we now can colonize the Ditones. Ditiones. I'm to the leader there. Must have died. So my 16,000 men here should be able to beat them. Especially if they're low in morale, which they are. And of course we score another zero, of course. Can we score any more zeros than this? Okay, you get back in there. And there's a seven, that's hopeful. But the thing is, if you score a zero right off the bat, we lose a lot of the troops. And then there's another zero. God damn, I scored so many zeros. Yeah, they've all run away again. Fuck me. At least they lost more than I did. Alright, so you got yourself a victory. That's great. Here's a triumph. And then you can fucking be fired. Oh, I can't dismiss... Ah, oh, shit. I should have waited. Before 494. December. I guess not too far off. Hey, that's good. Gotta get these guys out of Liguria. I don't have that many more troops left. I reckon that's that's multiple units of barbar multiple sorry, multiple regions of barbarians attacked us. Another bad dice roll, but we might still just have enough to do this. Them having a really good commander badly hurts us. Get, get rid of them. Alright, good. So 
So if he comes back now, we shouldn't have anything to worry about. Now, next thing. There goes the dog, just ignore it. Okay, so we've got here the fourth legion. Where's that? This guy here has got problems. I can't dismiss him just yet. 33% loyalty. Why is it going down so fast? Loyal units, not from ruler faction. Corrupt. Okay, if he wins this battle that's coming up here, we'll be able to give him a triumph. All my money is going into keeping these bloody fucking generals loyal. Alright, now I need um, a unit of Velities to come over here and trigger these Detonias, or whatever, and um, just so we can be done with them. How are we going for this? We're going to end close to zero. We, we, do, we really don't want popular scanning any more power. I try to really keep him in the dirt as much as I can. Is there one here that'll actually increase loyalty? Doesn't look like it. Good. Also, in Bononia, we have the river crossing defensive bonus, so that helps us. And we scored a good dice roll. So you get yourself a uh, a triumph, and then you're fired. Yeah, his loyalty just plummeted. What's going on? Can't hold another triumph until next year. Loyalty fucking issues, man. If only I could get a good commander that was actually loyal. Because you desperately need them. I can't just throw troops in. Because every time I roll a zero, it's just... It's might as well just throw troops away. With, um, they must have come from over here. Hopefully we won't be seeing that any more barbarians for a little while. I need some time to recover because I want to smash up Macedon. They are at war with Pontus. Not too concerned about that though. Alright, good. So that's happened. And that'll mean, yep, you're dead. Where are you going? Okay, so he's in the wrong place. 3rd of March. Oh, shit. How many troops do they have? It's only six. We'll be fine. That's fucking horseshit. Now I can't colonize this. Oh, we, it's only gone down by a small margin. We just need to wait a little bit longer. Oof. It'll it'll come back up. Oh fuck me. There's no way to know where they're gonna come from. I should have pressed colonize while they were out of there. Shh. 
shit. Fucking populous console as well. Fuck. Okay, so what I'm thinking here... Cancel this. Get that coming in from Syracuse. It'll increase the... Uh, Increase the uh, civilization value. Okay, we're pretty good for manpower. Probably shouldn't be in power for too long. Okay, so we can do this here that'll reduce corruption by 5%. That's actually pretty good. We should do that. Sure, we lose some stability, but that's okay. Lose 3 stability with that, but reduces national revolt risk by 0.5. It's a lot to lose. It sent me right down to negative two, which we can fix back up with money. We're only in the early parts of the campaign. This will go for the entire campaign. This will serve us. Because rebellion, there's, there's nothing good about a rebellion. Alright, I'm going to do it. So it's a little bit expensive at the moment because of populist faction ruler. Right, just do it. Alright. So give him his triumph. And then he's fired. Okay. No more populists. I gotta keep an eye on what what faction they're from. So he's got loyal units already. I hate picking someone like that's not good, but I can't have a civil war. That would just be a disaster for me. How much do I need to fix this next ability? I have to wait a year. That's fine. We've actually got pretty high revolt rates, but once we once we you know turn it back to at least zero, we get to permanently keep that zero point five percent. Right, to specifically enact laws that, you know, provide, um, only positives if, you know, if possible. Except you're fired because you're a, uh, populist. Keep him as much as possible out of office. Good, that just means more money for me. Okay, we've got no issues at the moment in terms of loyalty. So that's good. Everything's reasonably stable. Oh man, it's 
it's gonna take a little while. Fuck, that sucked. Right when we just about to colonize that, and it could take just it could take a year for that to actually be fixed. So Lucid Empire declares war on Pontus. This might actually be our chance. Pontus isn't going to be so willing to to fight against the um, fight against us. How many troops do they have? Fourteen. This is our chance. Alright, let's do it. Fuck it. Let's go. So if you have a look here, we are at war with just Macedonia at the moment. Pontus as well, but there's no way that that Pontus is going to be able to help. Well, they're at war with the Seleucid Empire. This is the perfect opportunity. So your job will be to fight him, because you've got a large army. We should sacrifice. How good are you? Seven. Okay, so he's coming straight for you. He's got fewer troops than you. Let's hope you win. We can call in allies. Don't worry about it. We don't need their help. Oh, paused. They'll also possibly have to river cross as well, so that won't be good for them. Let's just hope we get a reasonable dice roll. Of course, scoring a zero when they get a seven, that's going to suck. I think seven's the highest you can roll. And we scored low, but they've... Mm, doesn't look like we're going to win this. Get in there. Oh, we won. How about that? Don't know if it's good to pursue right now. He needs to fight them, because he, he, he should easily beat them. I think he saw him coming and he's like, no, 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 it's not even worth the victory. So they bug it off. Good, fuck you, console. Go and die in a hole. We have a military general. Excellent. That's a good time to have a military general, I suppose. Good, and when they come into Paeonia, this guy, sorry, this guy here is going to be waiting for them. And then assault, oh, actually, yeah, do assault because it'll produce our attrition here. But, you know, if you're going to do it, do it properly. I mean, you can do better than that. Oh, their whole army's gone. Excellent. So we, basically, we can move around here without concerns. Let's just get this over with quickly. Corrupt governor. Um, wh where is he the governor of? Dalmatia. Is he any good? He 
still reasonably good at his job. That guy there is disloyal. Here's an idea. I've got... I've got people in technology, right? So this one here... He's a populist. I mean, that does... Populists are probably the best people to have doing this because they can't revolt from this position. Um, this guy here... Six. Look for someone who's, like, got really high... Finesse. We'll switch him in. So he'll do a little bit better there. Okay, you can come back up here now. Thirty-one ships. So who else am I at war with? We're at war with um, Bosphoran Kingdom, Colchis, Pontus. Okay. Um, didn't Pontus want some sort of peace treaty with us? Sue for peace. I don't know. Let's just ignore that for the time being. A lot of damage. Hang on. Let's try again. Not too bad. Because what I'm thinking is, I want to send someone over to to here to because I want to I want to capture that territory. Which means I need to get to Thracia. With the ships. And transport this guy. Once he's won here, which should be any day now. Get him to get him on the boat and send him over here. I don't think that they're gonna have that many troops. 14,000 is not that many though. Alright, actually I'll send I'll send some reinforcements in there as well. Might actually be time to recruit a few extra troops. Don't go through barbarian territory. They've got ten ships. Okay, so that's that's nothing. If we come into contact with them, we'll beat them. Oh, forced again. Good. How are you? Got to deal with Sparta rebels first. We're in no rush to end this war, I suppose. Not sure if I'll be able to annex everything. I hope I will, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think this is the Sixth Legion here that's on the move. It doesn't really matter. I'm also not entirely sure. Yeah, see, this is all just one war here. And I don't know if the Allies will, will um, organize separate pieces. Let me just check. You 
fucking kidding me? Oh, they got 25 ships now. Get out of there. We lost two ships. Fucking hell. Let's keep scoring zeros every fucking time. Ah, shit, what's this? Oh, it's only three units? Okay, never mind. We're fine. Oh, I see. Pontus was getting in the way because I'm at war with him as well. Come on, just get point two extra and then we can colonize this. Preferably before that hits two. It looks like we lost four ships, for fuck's sake. There's still enough to transport them, but that, that's going to cost me 40 gold to replace them. They score in zeros. We had a larger fleet, too. I might not be able to get myself over here. Not in this war. I mean, we could... We could just walk across here. But that's fucking risky. For one thing, there's a bunch of rebels over here that would just, just chew us up. Well, not rebels, barbarian settlements. Better off going by sea. They don't want us here. Let's get going. So yeah. Okay, so Pontus Pontus lost against um, Seleucids, but then they then they lost one region, by the look of it. It's fine, I don't really care. Okay, this settlement here has no defenses. We get over here. Whew, we lost a quite fair few men. What have they got? Only two. Okay. Two thousand men here. We can't just sit here, we end up taking attrition. We gotta we gotta go attack it. Okay. Okay, good. No more attrition. I don't know if we're going to recover troops while we're in this territory. Okay, just mo get moving over there. Oh yeah, we're recovering troops. Good. So I want to try and annex these guys as well. Because I'm all about just trying to get rid of as many of the... as many of the um, barbarian settlements as possible and using Pantisipaeum here we can expand out this way with a Roman colony okay so they're being cocksuckers about this let's go and go show them what's what We also at war with also at war with Pontus. Okay. We can get a separate piece with them. I, I, as far as I can tell. They've got their hands full dealing with barbarians. So the plan here, just sweep in through here, I want full annexation of this, if possible. Oh, 
Oh, that's a lot of ships. Yeah, there. At least we lost none. Ah, oh, they fucking blockaded us. Fucking Pontus, would you just go away? Hey, look, they expanded out this way. Unlikely we'll be able to get a, um... There must be a new colony. Come on, hurry up and get over here. Oh, so good. As long as Pontus doesn't show back up here. I'll have to better when they were at war with the Seleucids. I think that's their capital, isn't it? Is, wait, no, no, Fangoria is their capital. Okay. So I should still be able to get this, even if we can't fully annex them. Good, we're here. Wow, well, this place is getting fucked by barbarians. I don't care, we can deal with them. Stay put a little bit. Don't I don't want to go too low because if they decided to attack us, it could be a big problem. We're also at war with cultures out this way. Good. Is this Ducks Dalmatia? All right, what are we what are we gonna do here? So this guy here is at nine. He's fairly loyal. Not from rulers faction though. But it will take a long time for that loyalty to become a problem. Can colonize. Finally, okay, good. Let's get that done now. What else? We could also colonize out this way. Let's just wait. Okay, Governor Kitsid, Magna Grisha. Okay, do I want any disloyal bastards? He's at 63. Ah, oh, he's a populist though. He's also a piece of shit, so you're fired. I'm pretty sure if we get a peace treaty with Macedon, since they're the one we attacked. We go to we get a peace treaty with all of them. And that's not what I want to do. Okay, so they've actually got more troops than I thought, but it's not enough. Not enough to deal with it. Me. I'd like to take out their ships, but I'm worried the Pontus is going to come in here and be a bitch. Disloyal commander of the First Legion. Let's have a look. Just give him a bribe. What's his command? Six. A lot of gold to spend, but loyalty increased by six, so you're fired. That's the guy. He's got no loyalty, so don't don't hire him. This guy here's not good. Oh, he's populist though. No, I don't want any populist. I'll hire you. Straight up wreck them. Good. Good.
We'd keep that populist faction in the dirt. I don't want them gaining consoles. Now the other th question is, I guess, do we attack this? Because this will put us on the border of the Seleucid Empire. Probably not the best motherfuckers to be annoying right now. Alright, so that should be 100% war score against them. Can't annex them. I can take everything else. I don't want them to give me tribute because I don't want any reason not to be able to declare war on them again. Good. Now the thing is, we're going to need an army out here to defend this. But, we have the opportunity to colonize this, and I'll probably try and conquer the stuff out here as well. Um, so we're no longer at war with them. Now, Pontus over here, they seem to already be having problems. So these guys here. I'd rather not border the Seleucid Empire, but at the same time, I want to get more powerful. I don't think that's going to help me at this stage. I mean, I already kind of border the Seleucid Empire. Checking on this as well. Can't annex them. But I could take, I could take them. I could take all of it except for Macedonia. Next, next time we declare war on them, we get it. Yeah, extra manpower, that's good, I guess. So yeah, I'm just trying to toss up whether or not I should be doing this. Uh, we've also got another omen to do, just doesn't cost anything to do it, especially... Oh, it succeeded, that's always pleasant. So now we're just at war with Macedon, Pontus, Colchis. Manpower is held together reasonably well. How's Rome's population? It's good. Yeah, I'm just basically just trying to decide whether or not I should do this, because that'll that'll draw the attention of the Seleucids. If I show up over there. And they're 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 big. They're probably the biggest faction at the moment. And I'm not ready to take them on. Especially with low manpower. Then again, they're expanding as well. Well, they took one region. I kind of want to take Roxolani for myself. Where'd the Gete come from? If I come down here... I don't mean, I don't have to take all of it. Could take just... Maybe these two. No, I can't take that one, that's their capital. Could take that one, I suppose. It's got some fish. Whatever. Defeat them next time, I guess. I mean, the, the Seleucid Empire would still be able to declare war on us due to our proximity to, to them. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, we, we've got a Casus Bellis really against them. Just having a look here. If you use Egypt as natural rival, so they don't really care about me. Okay. I 
I want to be taking these guys out. Ah, oh, fuck it. If they end up declaring war on us, let them take this territory back. I don't give a shit about it. Then what about Pontus? Alright, I want you to march into Bithynia here. I might take that off them. So good, this has been sorted. And let's just get that trade agreement there going. Damn it, scoring low fucking values. How many troops do they have? Alright, it might be time to end this war. Let me just see what I can do with this. Just try and get that one region off them. Oh, Jesus, that's painful. 7,000 of our men. What are they doing? Oh, paused. All right, we got to end this war, or else we're gonna be in, we're gonna be in trouble. Sue for peace, because he's just gonna keep pursuing us now. He's got us on the run. Oh, where it's not over yet? Okay. I thought it would be. My mistake. Wait, it says that Pontus... Yeah, Pontus is chasing after us. But this army here will arrive there first, giving us a bit of a chance to maybe get away. A bit of a chance. Could always just get a white piece with them. Okay, he's not pursuing us anymore. 28 units. Oh, hang on, hang on, we got 28 ships there. Yeah, I don't think I can take on Pontus. I think we should just get a white piece. I'm just I'm a little bit war exhausted. So I'll offer a white piece. Ugh. Oh shit, I thought I told them to not do that. They lost a ship. They'll arrive 3rd of September. Try to get out of there if you can. Just a handful of... I think they're just trying to lock us down. Okay, it's 2nd of October. 29th of September. Okay, so we'll get away from them first. Oh, well, actually, we did lose some ships. Now, can we please sue for peace? Okay, he's he's changing directions now. He's going on the um, he's going on the sh the sea. All right, he's changed directions again. 
Yeah, we don't have enough manpower for all of them. But if he keeps this up, well, eventually I'll take his territory and I will extract a, 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 um, a toll from him. Is, is there a siege going on here? Going to spend quite a bit of money to increase our, our fleet after this is over. Good, he's not pursuing us. What are these guys here doing? I can't actually move into this region. Oh, it's not part of Pontus. It's a, it's a separate fucking tribe here. If I wanted to declare war on them, though, I could. And we're already at war. Give me this region and fuck off. Nope. I guess they feel that even though Pontus is not that strong, they're Still strong enough to repel one of my armies. How many units do I have here? Twenty-two. Yeah, that that that. This is not going to do, go well against against them there. Thing is, I don't think that um, Pontus is going to have military access to get into their own territory. But we do need to end this war soon, just because of. My war exhaustion. Yeah, I'd rather they don't take this back. Because that's that's balance of power that I can use. I think I used because I thought it was the same colour. I thought that um it was it's the same faction. Why is this happening? Teneus. Oh that's okay, because we're right there. We got Pontus moving around. It's not good. Right, come out over here. See if they'll change direction to try and get my fleet. I want him to be able to try, uh, get into here. you anymore. This is just, it's just not working out for me. Ah, fuck me. Just logistic, it's just a logistical nightmare. Didn't lose any ships that time. Alright, I think what I need to do here, I need to get out, but I can't get out that easily, so I need to declare war on them. <laughs> Take their territory so I can get out this way. I need some more ships. I don't know how such a tiny nation of Pontus is able to afford all of these troops. get reinforcements over here. I guess, given the fact that, um, oh, hang on, if they've moved, we're going to keep trying to get in there, of course they'll keep coming back. Try to stop them if we can.
try to get over here. Get rid of them so they can cross into Bithynia. Ah, damn it, didn't take that. Hey, good, they lost three ships. Good. Quickly, quick, quick, quick. Cross in. Ah, uh, they're trying to actually attack me. Interesting. They just jumped in here, took it, and then fucked off. What have they got? Oh, they got 12 units. Too hard for me to justify sending in reinforcements at this stage. Well, that was close. Let me tr yeah, try and get out of there. And we took this. Now, if we sued for peace for a white peace, would they accept it? Actually, I'll demand tribute. Ha! <laughs> Fucking hell. I was willing to accept a white peace, but that's fine with me. Alright. But that means I'm not at war with cultures anymore. Alright. Cool. And next them. We took a beating during that war, but we gained territory, so... I guess that's good. You're going to need to stay out this way for the time being. Whatever, it's fine. Now, I want to attack this out here. Okay, so hang on, we've got offices empty. Yeah, keep the populists in there. Now, Pontus will probably have to disband some of their fleet, because they have, they've only got three regions left. And how are we going for manpower? We're actually okay. We haven't heard a peep out of the fuckers out this way. Which is both good and bad. Because, let's face it, an invasion will be coming sometime soon. There always is. Uh, Bithynia at Pontus needs... A governor. Evoke an omen. Yeah, whatever. That's why I'd go with the one that doesn't matter. That much. Thessaly. Okay. So Roxolani only has an army of four units, which is nothing compared to us. How are we going in terms of war exhaustion? Because that would have... That's a little bit... Nothing too severe. Because I can... I just want to consolidate the territory out here as we push out in this direction. We should have checked to see if they had any allies. And then we're good. And we'll just go straight for Sarmatia first. 
And hell no. Barbarian absorption in Dardania. Excellent. And there's still barbarians there though. Now, we can call in allies. No, thank you. There's a lot of territory we could colonize out this way. I just not, in, not really want to trigger that just yet. How are we going for... If, if we had the manpower available, we could... It could really help to recruit more units, but you know, we're just a little bit short at the moment. So there'll be revolts from time to time, but that's not going to be like a barbarian revolt. A lot of population here, and if we could somehow convert that to um, to Roman, we could get a decent pop uh, decent amount of troops coming in from here. God, fuck off! All right. Just wanted to slow them down. So we lost six ships in that war. That's 60 gold worth that I have to uh, reacquire. These territories here make a little bit of gold. Only 15% of our population is actually contributing to research. That's it's going to slow down our research. And we haven't even researched one thing yet. I think I think the max level is 15, isn't it? I can't remember. It'll probably pick up pace later on in the campaign as people become more, uh, as more of them are citizens. Right, so they gave give tribute to Pontus, that's why they they surrendered at the same time. Alright, we got income in here. How many is that? Eleven units, not too much. Let's just hurry up and win this war. So they can properly deal with them. This war's over. Now I need to get back here. I think they're going to attack Pantisipaeum. But what I might do is hit Torica as they're coming through, which might. Oh, God, this. It's going to be tricky. Alright, do it. Plus one should be all we really need. They might pick up quite a few troops as well. I hope they don't have a good commander. Might be a good idea actually to uh, to intercept them here. So 21st of April, 26th of March. Fuck. Because if they pick up more troops from here, that's going to be a problem. 15 units versus our 22. But I will have to river cross. Are you the best general we could hope for? Probably. So we outnumber them, let's just hope their general's a pile of shit. Well, 20 gold to get one stability. Sounds good to me. Now yeah, we're negative, but it'll... We'll get that money back. 
Okay, so we do have a lot of penalties here, but our general is just infinitely better than him, so doesn't even matter. Plus, we got a good dice roll. Good, having killed 7,000 of their men. That's, that's good. You can't stay here. I really want to colonize this. Alright, look, look, come out this way. If these guys, if these guys rise up against us, fine. As long as they're not meeting up with them, because I need to colonize that territory there. That'll make the frontier along here a lot easier to manage. Probably should have checked. I just hope he doesn't walk into Al Al zones, but then again, the, the stuff here is not very good anyway. Third Legion. That's him. Alright, get back to Panticipium. So we need to make sure the civilization value here stays above 70. Uh, uh, sorry, above 60. So his loyalty is at 45%. Could give him a triumph. It doesn't cost that much money. What's what's with his loyalty? So he's got a lot of loyal units. We'll hold him a triumph later. Just try and keep him above 50 for the time being. If they want to pick up some additional troops over here, that's fine. He should be able to handle them now, because he killed 7,000 of them, and we know that he's got a shit commander. So hopefully they do actually pick up these troops. Okay, now it's time to occupy some territory out here, so I want to recruit a mercenary to do the usual thing, go out there, trigger the... the guys. He must command the 2nd Legion. Which one's that? So yeah, he's no good. This guy here is extremely loyal. Oh, he's the consul. It'd be good if we can colonize all... Did they do it? Good if we can colonize all of this here and just have a nice, easy to manage frontier. I mean, it's going to take a while to do that. We just need to be diligent. Hey, we got good, good chance of success there. Why is that? Because the religious faction ruler. But it's still not 50-50. See? Don't wanna, it's just not worth the risk. They didn't take him out. Alright, hire some mercenaries. To go and occupy that. How are we going over here? Yeah, so this could also colonize some stuff as well. I think the Guria should colonize these two, 
Pannonia should colonize these two. Maybe I should actually do that one first, but that's... Hang on. Alright, now we're good. Popularists in here is absolutely fine. Alright, he's he's disloyal again. It didn't take long for him to drop below. Okay, so he's got he's just got too many loyal troops. We we have to hire someone else. Even if we give him a triumph, it's it's, it's we're just delaying the inevitable. Find someone who's loyal. This guy is extremely loyal, but he also sucks. You've got a large army, just try not to try not to make a complete balls of it. Overall, things have gone pretty well in this episode, I think. Just hope they don't go into our zones, but since it doesn't have a high um, value anyway, it kind of doesn't even matter. I mean, think about this region. Once it's got 10 populations, it's already got a high civilization value. It would go straight to Olbia. Olbia is already at 70%. Could be a problem. Okay, we got incoming here. 16 units. But we're good. Even with a zero, that's actually the worst possible dice roll that we could get. And now we got a good one. Yeah, that's not worry about. Good. Crushed him. This is a pain in the ass. I'd love to just be able to walk right through. We have to go around. Oh, well, in five years' time... Actually, in two years' time, I'll be able to declare war on them again. And we'll annex them for good. And put the popularist in there so they don't want it from anything else. I think it's been a year now. I oh, know it hasn't. Almost. So yeah, we've got a lot of colonizing to do. Worry about that before thinking about any other major wars. The three major threats that we have in this game is going to be Carthage, Egypt, probably lesser so Egypt, they don't seem that big, and the Seleucid Empire. The Seleucid Empire is the biggest at the moment. So what direction are they going in? Okay, they're coming to us. Let them come to us. Oh god, yeah, we gotta get you out of here. Um, this one here is better. What the fuck happened there? 
He immediately declared independence. Oh, what a dick. All right, well, you'll, you'll crush him. Really got to be a little bit more vigilant with the, um, with the loyalty stuff. Don't hire idiots. Okay, good. It triggered this. Excellent. And we can now colonize this. We shouldn't be seeing any, or oh, there's, there's some big ones up here. Where's my Eddie? Over here. Twelve regiments are showing up. Okay, well, you come over here first so that you can just be ready to deal with them. Yeah, two population reduced to build this colony here. And this will help protect Panticipatium from barbarian invasions. Oops. You know, if you just ignore this stuff here, just like, just don't click on it, it eventually just goes away. But legend, that is an exploit. It is, and I'm not going to do that, but um, I'm just saying this is what you can do. I remember when I first played this game, I was very safe scummy. Because the game let me do it. Alright, that's gone. Go and grab all of these settlements as quickly as possible. We'll get the peace treaty and well, not peace treaty, annexation, and end this fucking thing. Good. Our manpower's been building up as well. Good to see. Take a bit of attrition. Too much. Oh, and that, that's it, that's all. Okay, now trigger that. How many are there? It's just four units, so it's nothing major. Barbarian absorption in Dardania. Excellent, is that... Good, that should be the last of it.
So we can't colonize this, not until those barbarians are gone. Oh, it's actually at zero there. That's interesting. I haven't seen that happen pre-colonization. I think the Greeks have a lot easier time in this campaign because there's already already a lot of established Greek culture, which means that they can draw from a lot of manpower. Another revolt, but that's okay. We're on our way that, in that direction anyway. I don't really want to go chasing them around everywhere because the further down south we go the, the more nervous I'm going to get about this border here. There are some serious barbarian threats there but if we just hurry up and win this we can go to the northern frontier and hopefully hopefully next time the, the person we put in charge here won't be a complete cunt. God damn it. Alright, so that, uh, what do we got over here? 11 units. Oh God, it never bloody ends, does it? Alright, colonize that. That'll drop the population in Rome by an additional two. Oh well, that happens. Got enough population in Rome to colonize around 20 to 30 places. Best, best we wipe them out first. Good, you did well there. Good, now return to the fold. This time, pay attention to fucking loyalty. So is Pontus at war with the Seleucid Empire again? Yep. You know they're not going to win. And after after they're done with with. Um, Pontus, they're either going to go after Egypt or me. And their manpower is going to be a lot higher than mine. It's good that these guys here managed to capture that, because now I don't share a border with barbarians out this side. Oh shit.
Oh, double shit. <laughs> Just bad timing there. Alright, so let's see. We got Amber here. I want that Amber to go to Rome. So I don't really feel like I need salt anymore. Is that extra tax rate by 10% certainly will come in handy. Do. If they fucking attack that, they're gonna instant win. Come on, get there, hurry! Alright, good. The barbarians there are gone. Now we need another army here to, pro to properly protect this. Another 20 stack, which we can we can afford. We've got plenty of supply limits. It's just a matter of damn manpower. The problem with this though is because there's no barbarians here, they may not get the barbarian absorption. It could be like 0 0.5, I don't know, because I've never seen that happen before where they actually completely empty the lands of barbarians. We gotta declare war on Macedon again soon. I kinda don't really want the Seleucids to, to annex Pontus. Because they do make a good buffer, even though I don't like Pontus, obviously. But we're just trading them in for an even bigger threat. And try and keep the status quo. If, 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 an, if anyone's gonna take out Pontus, it should be me. Give me the shits, take him out. Okay, they didn't totally annex them, so that's good, I guess. Could probably go to war with them again soon. Yeah, well, let's just finish them off, because I... There's no harm in doing so. Wait, who are their allies? Allied with Macedonia. Fine. Oh, look, we gained some cores. How about that? Also, we're right on an hour and a half, so I think we'll end the episode here. So, the situation's looking good and difficult at the same time. Still got loads of barbarians attacking us all over the place. What year is it? 251 BC. I think we're doing, we're way ahead of what Rome was at this stage here. Maybe, maybe we could be making a bit more progress against Carthage, but I just see greater gains to be had out this way. Um, more a case of just stopping the barbarians, much more of a threat than Carthage. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part four is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.